fourth round pick. Is he ready? Is he not ready? Let's see. Um, 40 plays. I don't know if I said that already. Uh, we, we have a Carter down block here, apparently. Um, as, as you can tell, he is the, uh, so, so he is a left tackle, um, but they do run these tackle over sets. We'll, we'll, we'll take the left tackle and um, place him to the side of the right tackle. So it's a tackle over set. This is the um, tight end, I'm assuming. But So he didn't necessarily play right tackle, but he has experience on the right side as well because it's pretty much the same thing, right? So Carter down block, let's watch. So we uh, there, there are a few things here. Um, he takes, he, he ta he takes uh, you know, that gallop. The gallop technique, one step towards power off of the right step. The third step is supposed to land the, the hands there, um, but he takes an extra step, so it kind of it kind of negates the, the, the gallop. But we do like that he won, right? Attacks the hip. We like that. I would I would like to see a little bit more power into it. You know, it's 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 pretty lackadaisical. He doesn't really create much movement. I, I want to see much more um, forcefulness into that into that down block. I don't think it's a lack of strength. It's just um a, a lack of wanting to really blow that guy up like he could and maybe just a little bit distracted by by his secondary assignment here as they run power he down uh, again down blocks with that with that right tackle okay cool now he's looking for any linebacker who's going to who, who's going to cross his face clearly um sees that 30 is, is is scraping over the top trying to get to the to the running back which is uh izzy catches him in the chest rocks him you know Plants him, and then and then the fa the fact that he also um, jumps on top of him like he did is something that I would like to see much more of in his in, in his in his film. But we like that he's finishing a block right there, and he actually kind of falls over the top and face plants. Um, not necessarily ideal. That's not what he was trying to do, face plant. Um, but with that being said, we at least like the we at least like the hand placement. We at least like the eyes into the second level. We like the pop from from that right hand, which again clearly affects said linebacker. Um, and we like to finish there from from Carter Warren on that play. Uh, number two, Carter length, high placement, good, uh, close ground. Uh, and yeah, and you'll see this sometimes in my review. And we have plenty more. This is uh, we have twenty two more to go. I believe, including this one. Um, you'll see me kind of at first sometimes put question marks and things like that just because I want to see if it's something that pops up pretty frequently, but. Here we go. Another tackle over set. So he's not the right tackle, but he's like the the extra tackle, right? So um right here, let's watch. Though okay. Here. Okay, good job. Good job to get out of his stance. We like we like that his that his feet are 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 mostly mostly wide here. Um he does at times get a little bit heel clicky. Here, here he's not um nice. Nice wide base, some good knee bend. We like the punch timing. Punch timing as as he comes into that two yard contact window that I talk about all the time. You know, depending on length, depending on the play, um, but about two yards. Punch timing, nice placement into the into the outer peck, right there, and then we like that it's it's an alternating punch one, two, one two, because yeah, at the end of the day, if you can land two two hands on at the same exact time, it's great, but if you miss with those hands, if those hands are chopped, um, you can really screw yourself. So um, independent hand usage are all, we're already seeing with him, which is which is a really good thing that he does. And then once he once he gets hands on, we like that he hops into his into his anchor. Um, the 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 one thing about the play after is, okay, one two, hop into your anchor, walk off of your insteps. That's good. Um, at this point, though, as soon as as soon as there's some some more movement from that from that defensive lineman, and he and he's kind of trying to work laterally, not necessarily right through him. We do want to see him close some more ground. Here we could see we could see that he's playing with with some length. Um, but there are times in his film, and this isn't necessarily even the best example, but there are times where he's he's really reaching for contact um, quite a bit. Where you want to see him, like we talk about, get really really close. The closer you are, the better control you have. Obviously, if you're holding a guy, if you look. You're holding a bag of groceries like this. You can hold it out like that for longer or for like this. You're a lot more powerful, close. So there is times where I want to see him um, eat up some ground. But we like the anchor. We like the hand placement. Looks like he gets that, that quarter turn in to act, activate the back. Good, good, good. And then um, at a certain point in, in the rep, obviously, he feels that the defensive lineman wears all of his weight leaning into. 
that right hand. So what does Carter do? He he uh he he traps it. I don't I don't call this snatch and trap. This really like people try to, honestly people try to get fancy with that shit. This the snatch and trap. He, he chops the hand down or or, or traps it. S- snatch and trap to me is like is 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 when um the the uh you know when when he's when he's uh when when a guy has a hand on you and you and you hit him and then you and then you chop but it's just all fancy terminology it, he chops the arm traps it okay cool there's some things i'll talk about with like cuff techniques that it, that he does that you actually have to use that terminology but the, the whole snatch and trap thing is fucking like, stupid to me he chops the arms down right like who snatch and trap like okay um so chops that arm down we like that, obviously, right? You 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 want to take you want to take away his, his balance, and that's exactly how he does it. So, uh, Carter stance, hands wrench, zone step um, to his to his right side. They're they're running. This is either going to be a um, a tight. Let's just call it tight zone for for now. Um, yeah, tight zone that he that he he bends a little bit because he he sees this he sees this this defender. So uh looks like it's a tight zone. And Carter takes his own step. But the one thing about this play in in not even in particular, but something we're gonna see in the future, there are times where he has a narrow base and his feet are crossing over when he makes contact, which is not necessarily the 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 best idea. And he starts off pretty strong in, in terms of um in terms of some of his techniques here as ver- as as compared to some other plays later on. In the review, zone step. We like his hand placement. That his hand seemingly gets into the into the right side, into the chest, the right hand into the chest of the defensive lineman, um, and then he wrenches him slightly. So it's it's actually let me see that left hand. Left hand's hard to see. So I think I just watched this one quickly to be completely honest and, and kind of labeled it wrong. Um, I do like the zone step. I don't necessarily love the feet crossing over. I like the right hand placement. And then that right hand placement is he's really going to work through that hand. He's going to try to torque him to get that that, that positional leverage um, to the to the play side. That left hand, quickly when you watch it, it does it does look like a wrench, but it's not really a wrench because it doesn't, it's not on his back. A, a, a true wrench is hand onto the chest, hand onto the lower back. And then obviously defensive lineman's going to going to be leaning forward, trying to penetrate, trying to do whatever they're doing. And you're just going to straighten their back out, um, which is obviously hard to, to, uh, to, to push past that. So I, I'm not going to say that's a wrench just because I can't see the hand, but we do like him using that right hand. as like the pivot point works through it, torques them um, to that, to that backside right there. Um, next play aware adjust. Okay. So now he's legitimately playing right tackle. On, on this play. So he moved around, he moved around quite a bit. So he's actually the right tackle here. Let's watch. So they're they're running one um one back power here. And in terms in terms of the adjustment, yeah, I don't, so this could have been a situation where if he where if he stayed here, they were gonna they're gonna combo to to the um to to a backer. The fact that he steps that he steps opposite um, could be the reason why he just throws out that 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 hand check and then climbs to the second level, um, because past that, if he was a knife inside, he would have he would have to down. He would probably yeah he'd probably combo and then work up to the second level. The 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 the, the tight end would be the one to work up, and then obviously the the puller would read that and then take it more outside. Um, but he adjusts as he crawl as ninety ninety seven crosses his face again hand hand check. Which doesn't really necessarily land, but it's just in it just in case he can land, and then he pops up that near shoulder, which obviously assists the the just taking away his momentum and assists the the tight end and um in that block. Climbs to the second level. You know, with some with some control, we don't want to see the we don't want to see the bend from the waist right here. Um in in going into a block, but he he lands it well enough, right? So we're not going to we're not gonna cry about it, but bending from the waist you got to watch it so we want to see maybe a little bit better control there from from him but with that being said okay if that linebacker is penetrating he has to get there quick and sometimes you have to get there quick your technique's not going to also it's not always going to be perfect so um we like we like the adjustment in and that might be the adjust i'm talking about the adjust mid play to the linebacker's angle and the linebacker penetrating gets hands on and his hand lands in a good spot in terms of you know like we talked about tight elbow angle to the to the ribs uh, it slips off the back. That is that is what it is. Um, 
obviously if that if that's a frequent thing where it's slipping off the back like that, then we're gonna have to talk about okay, well, he needs to get a little bit his hand more inside um and place it a little bit better. But slips off, but just the weight, the weight of 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 him leaning onto that um linebacker obviously removes him from um from the gap he's trying to to, to penetrate. Next, aware of alignment stance. Eh, okay. Yes, yeah, so this is this is one where he where where his he, he's a little bit lower and it is a run play. 